Excitement as the Young Lions take on Geylang International, knowing that the only points that they have won so far this season comes against the Eagles. Geylang will look to make it three wins in a row for the first time since August 2018. And the side they beat was the Young Lions on that run. Someone who's elevated their status by jumping a league position last time out was Geylang International. It's just a solitary change. As Morali put it, Zaifa was out suspended again in the last match, but he returns from suspension. Been given the job of marking the big man up front. It's a fantastic little run. It really is a fantastic little run. And it's a good save in the end from Dylan Pereira. Bezacor taking on all comers, pulling the trigger. But it was just a little bit too straight at the keeper. Yeah, yeah he had a good run beating maybe four players. That wasn't one of them, but now he knows that stat. But will they make it the first goal? Direct from a free kick so far this season. The, the, the wall looks big and strong. Ooh, it's not far away. It's really not far away. And Shah, the skipper, thought that that was in the bag. But to concede a silly free kick there in a dangerous position could be costly. Sakuma is up. Zuzul is in there. Five green and white shirts inside the box. A couple lurking just outside. It's a little bit flat, though. Elected to try and keep possession. Nicely dinked back in. Free header! Flag's gone up. It's offside. Has run thought he'd gone back-to-back -back goals. And number five for the season. However, he was a judge to have just strayed into an offside position. But that will be very, very close. I think he was about one yard on time. Bodies arriving. Tazuka couldn't get his shot away. Zuzul's in a wide position. Here he is. It's Zuzul. Straight at the keeper. The rebound off the line. Brilliant defending. The danger not clear yet, though. And you could see Haswan. The intent was right because there were bodies in the way. Tried to dink it into that top corner on the far side, but just failed to execute it. Good play from Gaylang. A good play. You can see now. Trying to open up his body for the far post. Good defending as well, clear of the line. And you can see the intent, like what you said. Look to come forwards. This game really, really ebbing and flowing. Bezakor. It's still Bezakor. It's still Bezakor. Penalty awarding? No, well, it looks like it. Penalty awarding. Penalty. It looks like a tuck from the defender over there. Was it Harris or was it... Uh, Charles Azali. It's Suzel. He's gone the other way this time. Makes no mistake. No mistake at all. You have to say on the balance of play and the chances created that Galang do deserve this. But you cannot play out from the back like that. Stuart Court. Chance here. Tajeli gets to the byline. Fires it in. Deflected in. Off the foot of Dylan Pereira. Will it go down as an old goal? It was a cross, but that 2-0 lead is probably what Gaylang deserve over the 90 minutes. Yeah, like what you said, you, did, you, you wanted a goal. You thought that there would be a goal at any end, and in the end, Gaylang got it, and I'm pretty sure it's game set match. Plays it back, given away, and there is the full-time whistle. So, on the balance of play, chances and opportunities created, you would probably say that it's deserved from Geylang International. But the Young Lions, yet again, put up a heck of a fight. They really, really did. But it's just that final third that they need to keep working on because they have gone down by two goals to nil here at the Jalambasar Stadium.